This is Matthew from eTech Taiwan. Today, I would like to share a case with you, showing you how eTech professionally integrates customers' IDOD grinding requirement with automation, achieving high accuracy and mass production at the same time. Before we get started, please allow me to introduce the nominated machine models, including in the entire processing line. First, it's our OP1 EGN350 CNC. It is an ID OD grinder with two spindles. And for the next OP2 and 3, it's our machine model EGA3260 CNC with an angular OD wheel. As this is the shape of customer's workpiece, but for the customer, the biggest OD is a helical gear. So basically, it's going to be like a gear shaft. However, in order to protect our customer and stay confidential, we will only demonstrate the part which is produced by eTech ourselves. Before we show you the entire application, we would like to point out some main features so you will understand why we need these machines and what kind of geometry we need to achieve. When we finish grinding with all three machines, the customer is going to put the part with the two fixtures between on its next process. By doing so, what we need to focus on is the inner chamfer and outer chamfer. We have to achieve total runoff within 5 micron. For the OD cylindricity, we have to achieve is 8 micron. And as for the OD tolerance, it's about 5 micron. Another important feature is we have to control the width. So the width tolerance, including CPK, is within 10 microns. As you see, there are several geometries we have to achieve. At this point, application and planning become our priority. Now, let's jump into the application and check this out. Now, we are in front of our OP1, our EGN50 CNC, and now he's going to do a center hole grinding. Although center, there are a lot of center hole grinders in the market doing this kind of job. And also, ETEC is not out of the exception. We also have our own center hole grinders. But co-locating with our EGN350 CNC, we are able to combine with automation. As the robot art picks up the part, comes into position, then he's going to go through our open top type of door and load the part. The reason we use an open top type of photo door is because we can prevent the operators from getting injured if he becomes uncareful. And also, we can prevent the door from keeping on opening and closing. Now, the wheels are with paper. The way we do it is we use our user-friendly conversational software, iGrind, which is made by Tech ourselves. To ensure we have the correct plunging in position by touching off and offset the coordinates. The wheel of OP2 is profiled with the small chamfer, so we could grind the OD, face, and the small outside chamfer in one plunge. An in process OD gauging is also installed to control and monitor the size, stabilizing for the mass production.
We also advise our customer to add a gap and crash control and auto dynamic wheel balancer to boost up the efficiency and safety for the whole production line. Then, we use a high specification controller to combine all the measuring value into one screen. Another cool thing about the whole application is that we don't always have to go through the entire processing line. The process line is skippable. When we need a small maintenance or grinding wheel exchange, we can choose to let all three machines to run individually or through skipping process, instead of stopping the whole line. In OP3, we are going to grind the other side of ODF face. Here, we install another special driving mechanism, a spring-type auto carrier. It is also a good solution to grind between centers with automation. Because in OP2, we had ground one face already, which means we had a nice clean datum. When the touch probe touches off the starting point, the plunging in position is extremely accurate. Plus, with the in-process with gauging, we are able to control and monitor the size for the whole production. With this application, even a CPK inspection will not be an issue. Another additional option accessories that we can add into the entire processing line is a coolant chiller. A coolant chiller allows the coolant stays in constant temperature and reduce the effect from thermal expansion and contraction. With such tight requirement, temperature also stands a crucial part controlling the accuracy. Although we have installed the in-process gauge to monitor the size, we also have high quality precision measuring instrument for inspecting the accuracy. With Maha Form Tester MMQ400 and Winslow CMM LH65, we are able to double check the geometry and provide confidence to our customer. In this way, our customers are felt at ease, relieved, and so do us. Over a span of decades, E-Tech rapidly has such development is because of the combination of a professional team, consisting of an assembly and R&D department with 20 more years of experience, a sales department with full concept and knowledge to track the application, and also a technical services sector with the skills to improve and support and customize the most suitable parameters for each of our customers in the case. Together, we integrate all the experience, efficiency, and expertise we have provide the most accurate and complete driving solutions and service to our customers for sales. Thank you so much for watching and we hope everyone of you like it. Please do not hesitate to give us a like. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a message down below all the contact ways. If you are looking for more grinding machine information or grinding application videos, please feel free to dig into our YouTube channel or you can check us out on our website. Hope to see you soon.